Hello folks, welcome to another, probably going to be somewhat boring, uh, Tesla Model 3 component hacking video. It's more of an introduction, more than actually doing any specific work today. What we have here on the bench for you is a Model 3 uh, CCS charging port and charging port ECU as Tesla called them and what we've just done here today is very very simple uh, we've just connected up uh, 12 volt power to the ECU and got it plugged into um, the charge port door the charge port itself and we just logged some CAN me messages here so I'll get you guys in here so you can have a little bit of a closer look in a minute or two. But first of all, uh, I guess the question would be, why are we actually doing this? Well, we're doing this in order to uh, support a development going on in the United States uh, by a, a gentleman on the Open Inverter Forum, who is a lot smarter at this stuff than I am and he has been working with the obviously the us uh, version of the model 3 uh, charging port and i believe has got it working um, almost completely on the bench now uh, so i kind of joined in there and he's as I say, he's doing the real hard work, which is all the CAN decode and the software work. And I'm doing a bit of a hardware design here uh, so that we can have a kind of a box, a standalone controller, as it were, uh, for the Model 3 charging port ECU. Now, you might ask yourself, well, that's very nice, Damien, but, uh, you know, what... what do we get here apart from a fancy charging port well we get a fancy charging port um, but as a little bonus uh, particularly for us EU uh, people here and that is that the EU spec model 3 vehicles come with the CCS or combined charging system uh, charge port and it is significantly a faster form of DC charging rather than the CHAdeMO uh, system that we're familiar with. Uh, do have a CHAdeMO charging port here. and I mean, I'm still fitting these to my cars um, and I probably will continue doing so because there's lots of CHAdeMO fast chargers in this part of the world. But a lot of uh, focus now seems to be moving to the CCS. And that is because whereas Chidemo has about a maximum of 50 kilowatts, I think, could be wrong here, but I think CCS is upwards of 250. And indeed here, uh, Tesla have fitted, I believe, 95 square millimeter cable uh, to the um, DC pins on the CCS port uh, that we have here so that'd be fine uh, aside from the fact that the communication between vehicle and charger that is used for CCS is an absolute nightmare of a thing um, I'm not going to even try to describe it, it here. I have little to no interest in it. It's just one of these things that was just dreamed up for little to no reason other than to make something complicated. Uh, whereas Chedemo just uses plain old high speed can at 500 uh, K. This thing is just another world. Now, we're interested in these Model 3 uh, charge port ECUs because they have all of that horrible um, communication protocol implemented on them. 
and they give us a very simple interface that just needs a 12 volt supply, can high, can low, and a few simple digital signals. So the aim of the game here is to be able to use these Tesla Model 3 charge port ECUs as a means of bridging the gap between uh, CCS communication and the normal forms of communication that we use here in our conversion project. So that's what we've got going on here. And uh, so aside from doing the hardware design for this uh, thing, I'm trying to support it as well by doing some can captures here to today. Um, I have, thanks to a very kind donation, both the US spec and the European spec uh, charge port controller. So we'll bring you in in a minute or two to have a closer look. But they're both physically identical, uh, but the boards inside them are a very different affair. Uh, we will give you a look at that also. But they plug in, uh, the plugs for the charge port and the charge port door are the very same. So you can literally flip them um, over here. So I've been doing some can captures here just from a, po a power on state. Um, so that we can kind of work out maybe what's going on there. So that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and have a look in here and uh, show you what we've got going on in this simple little test rig. Alrighty. So as you can see, Elon here is busy flashing his red lights at me. This is the EU um, charge port controller. Uh, let's see if we can do a bit of dodgy camera work here. Uh, this is the US spec one. So as you can see here, they've got the same connections, got the same physical enclosure, but as we'll see shortly, the insides are somewhat different. Here we have our Model 3 uh, CCS charging port. You can see here we have this crazy big 95 square cable and over here also plugged in we have the uh we have the charge port door which is obviously an eu uh model we're currently feeding that just from a 12 volt power supply thinking about 85 milliamps or so and as you'll see here the interface to this thing you know is extremely simple we got some can a uh, couple digital signals and just 12 volt supply. Um, so I've got this just powered up, got it connected to a uh, ESP Dewey, and we're using Colin Kidder's uh, Savvy Can software here just to do some can captures. So nothing terribly exciting going to happen here for a while. Uh, we're still in an investigative stage at least on the eu side um so we will uh we will be back and we have some more info on that obviously i've uh, gone ahead and got myself a plug and under that you'll see a rich man's uh charger that i'm currently building thanks to johannes um so we might even have a rich man's ccs charger coming mm. Wouldn't that be interesting? But enough about that now. Let's go have a look at these guys on the bench and we will see some of the differences in them. Okay, folks, so we're on a bench here with the two uh, Model 3 charge port controllers. By the way, I do hope the sound is a bit, is a bit better now. I managed to get a second hand road uh microphone thingy which is currently pointing at the <laughs> charge port controllers rather than me um so it'll be interesting to see how that works uh so let's go have a look at them so on the surface uh they both look pretty much the same 
obviously they got different part numbers um, you can pause the video there and have a look at those if you want to see them the one on the right is the European CCS and the one on the left is the US uh, J1772 version so um, connectors the cases everything is pretty much the same jazz here so let's go ahead and uh, have a look inside it's quite simple to do if you're not a Muppet which I am and my bench is covered in um, open inverter BMS boards at the minute so let's pop that open here and we'll do a, a similar job on the Euro model come on Euro okay so How's that looking? All right, very good. So, there we go. So, US on the left, European on the right. So I guess the first and most obvious thing is that the European one, uh, the PCB takes up the full casing, whereas the US model is about, I guess, maybe 25 to 30 millimeters um, of a, ga a gap between the PCB and the bottom of the case. Now on the bottom of the boards themselves, there's really not a lot to uh, not a lot to differentiate them. Um, you know, there's a good few components on the back of this board, and there's yeah, I mean there's an equal I guess number, maybe a few more on the back of the EU. Now let's pop them out of here. Obviously, I'm obeying all static. Uh, Thing is here. Oh, come on. Out. Out. E Elon. 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 Seriously. Okay. So, US model and Euro model. So, there we are. So, immediately uh, we're going to see that the US model um, has got a much smaller processor uh, than the than the um, EU model. So let's get a bit of a, let's see if we can get you guys in there for a bit of a closer look. Let me bring you in, get this for top spec camera work now. All right, so European model, larger processor, and US model, less processor, and obviously smaller uh, PCB. Now, for information that I've managed to glean, like maybe some component part numbers and stuff on there, I would encourage people to uh, pop over to the Open Inverter Forum and have a look at the development thread there for this uh, controller. Uh, we will find uh, some more info. I'm not going to clutter up this video too much uh, with that sort of thing. So, that's it, folks. That is our... US and European uh, Model 3 charge port controllers, uh, which we're trying to take control of, particularly this guy, because uh, it's got that horrible, um, whatever it's called, green phi or some other nonsense uh, communication for the CCS system. So folks, that's where we are uh, with our Model 3 charge port. Uh, controller hacking project thingy uh, that we're going on at the minute obviously a lot more model 3 stuff going on in the background uh, BMS is now basically done I just need to test it on the full battery uh, which I'm going to do soon unfortunately the time of making this video um, Ireland is back under coronavirus lockdown, so I cannot uh, do that at the minute. But not as if I don't have another million projects to be getting on with. Uh, so thank you for tuning in and we will, I suppose, see you in the next episode. But only as long as you dislike, hoard and unsubscribe very important and uh, 
what else is there then that I normally say at this particular time I'm forgetting um, oh yes check those links in the description and do pop over to the open inverter forum and watch uh, me kind of flail around aimlessly um, trying to design the hardware for this thing um, and until then Happy CCSing, ing, CCSing, yeah.